In today's big adventure, we're going to be doing concatenation. And here's what this might look like. First of all, let's select everything from the employees table. Okay. As you can see here, like most databases, we're putting the first name in one column and the last name in another column. Now, you could combine both of those names and have just have one name field, but sometimes it's better to break them out because you can query uh, more information on them by keeping the field separated. But in any event, Let's say that we wanted to then uh, query, you know, the first name and the last name information from this table. And actually, let's comment out this up here. Run that again. Well, here I have the first name and the last name. But what if I wanted to actually concatenate these together instead of doing it like this? What could I do? Well, instead of doing it like the way I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go like this. In this case, I'm going to make a third column. And now, when you're appending things in SQL, in T-SQL, you use the plus sign, not the ampersand. And we're going to go like this and put a space and then do that. And if I do this and then hit this, See, it has it puts both of the it puts both the first name and then a space and then the last name in the same field. Now it doesn't have a column name, so what I would have to do is give the field a name, which I'm going to name name. And when I do that, there it is. Now it's the name field, which has all the names in the name field. Um, so that's how you would concatenate stuff. You, it's basically just the one field plus and then in this case I'm putting a space and then the plus sign and then the next field. You can do that with text. If I was going to put a number field in there, let, let's just say for example that I wanted to put the salary after the first name and you would never do that because there would be no reason to. This will probably crash. See, cannot convert a care value to money. So what you would have to do in a case like this is use the cast function. The cast function will just um, allow you to change a number to text. Oops, cast. Oh, and you have to use the as word. There you go. Bam. And then that, in this case, what it does is it puts text and a numeric field together because I'm using cast. That's how you append text.